I talk a lot um, through Know Your Value to women about being mentally tough, grit. Mm -hmm. I would think that's something that you had to have on the ice. <laughs> and that you can help women, because I think women, sometimes we get distracted by all the things we think everybody needs to be comfortable in the room. No. Like, what is it that keeps you focused? Is that something that your hockey career can trans transfer into real life, helping other women? Absolutely. They've done so many studies on females in sports and the importance that sports has shown in the working world and that girls that participate in middle school, high school, and college sports tend to do better when they go into the business world or are working in uh, working in offices and so the importance of sports especially for females I think you can't put a price tag on that totally and, agree. but what's unfortunate is the amount of girls that are dropping out of sports at the ages of 13 and 14 and the the retention rate is not good so the sports it definitely gives you an avenue and teaches you those mental skills uh, working with a team being a good teammate being accountable showing up on time and all those skills that translate into the working world quick and decisions. adult life absolutely quick, i mean that's it right there you cannot hem and haw <laughs> when no, you're no. <laughs> on the ice um, one thing that really resonated with me um, that both of you have said is that to perform your best at an olympic level um, it involves being selfish I love that. Um, can you explain what you mean by this? So on a day-to-day, -day, when we're chasing a gold medal, when we're you know training for you know one moment and that comes around every four years, you're worried about your training. You're worried about what you're eating. You're focused on okay, I'm not gonna go out with friends because I got to be up at six to train, and then I'm gonna try and stay off of my feet the rest of the day because I'm skating later in the evening, and so everything is just focused on what's going to make me the best athlete I can be and so it's just to be an elite athlete there's a lot of just inherently selfish mindsets that you have to have to make yourself the best you can be and I think that's just kind of not that's not how it works in team sport but to be the best you can be there is that aspect of it and well you first your health right. first what you mm -hmm. eat first mm -hmm. everything that your sleep cycle you have to wor worry about number one to right. be able to be a part of the team, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Yeah, and I think to step outside of that mindset and to provide, I think, lessons and work with young kids and um, talk to women about, you know, what, what does it mean to be a part of a team? What does it mean to be uncomfortable mm -hmm. and to strive towards something that is, I think, outside of the norm is something that we've you know, been doing our entire lives, and it doesn't just relate to hockey or sports or being an athlete. I totally agree. I urge women to step outside their comfort zone on a daily basis. Find a way to take a risk, make a toast, speak in public, put yourself out there. Be, be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's it. No. Because you practice and you get better at things that you never thought you could do or say, which I think is something that you may not be playing hockey for the rest of your life, but the skills are to put yourself out there, to take risks, to be uncomfortable perhaps, um, to have that grit and determination to keep going. And I would assume that that would translate on so many levels to the professional lives you will have. Absolutely. I mean, I think when you, when you look at boardrooms, there's likely going to be a lot more men in the room than women and for women I'm it's probably I haven't been in many situations like that I have been in a few but it's an uncomfortable situation to be in but the more and more you do it the more comfortable you're going to get being in those situations and being able to, to speak your mind and not be not being afraid to speak up and take up your space that you deserve in, the, in those rooms. Given the battle for equal pay um, and and the work that the two of you have done, I feel a little funny asking two 28-year-olds what you think your <laughs> legacy is going to be, but what do you hope it will be? Any dreams yet about that? I think just being a positive role model uh, for, for young kids, but for women and especially for young girls and um, whether that's a hockey player or not, I think just what we strive is to, you know, make make USA Hockey a better place, make make the U.S. national team, you know, make that program better, but 
outside of that, having a positive impact and using this platform that we're fortunate to have to impact so many more people beyond just hockey. Yeah, the story is about money and it's about equality and being treated fairly. Mm -hmm. um, and you are working toward funding youth hockey for girls, so it's just like boys, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and that's the, when we think of our equitable support battle, the biggest piece to us was growing that grassroots level and then a big piece of that was winning a gold medal because we a lot of us on the team grew up we watched the 1998 team win a gold medal and how that really springboarded uh, the participation levels for girls hockey and so we we were we understood that we hey we we really need to win a gold medal so then that's going to help our cause and what we're passionate about what our initiatives are within USA Hockey. We're so excited. You're going to reach so many more women through the Know Your Value uh, platform in the community, and we're grateful for that. Um, but do you guys find you're already reaching women and who are seeing, even little girls, who are seeing the magnitude of what you've done? Yeah, I think I think our first experience, uh, we were at the Staples Center in, in L.A. It was the first full day we were back in the U.S. after coming back from South Korea. And there was actually these two little twins. I think they must have been getting on the ice uh, in between periods. And they were standing in the concourse right before our team was about to go on the ice. And they're in their gear. And they're in their gear. <laughs> yeah. And they're, so we weren't supposed <laughs> to be taking pictures. And someone's like, oh, hi, like these are my twins. And we're like... We'll take a picture with them. So we so there. So I'm looking at my phone uh, at the picture afterwards, and I'm looking at it. And the girls, they're not even looking, like at the camera. They're just staring up at us. And it was just such a cute like picture that it said it said a thousand words. Um, tell me about the 11 year old girl with the clipping. <laughs> so. Uh, Avery Haxall, she we've known her since she's in diapers, and when we were going through uh, the boycott and negotiations, um, right after we had signed our contract, she sent us a text, and I have it screenshotted and saved on my phone, but it was along the lines of, my mom showed me an article of what you guys are fighting for, and I just want to say thank you. That's kind of what it's all about, huh? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it really is um, special for well, even we were we were doing an event with Comcast, and a woman that was quite a bit older than us came up to us, and she was almost in tears, and like I'm so thank you guys so much for what you guys stood up for, and then and ultimately what we did didn't affect her, but she realized the importance of what we were doing, and so to to have the support of of older women, young girls, and just it, it resonates with so many people, and I think that's why so many people supported what we were fighting for. It's everything. It changes everything, and that's what you're doing for so many women. So thank you both so much. Welcome to the team. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to be here. <laughs> hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.